Hello friends and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our VGC 2021 Battle Series content featuring a Dragonite team. Now Dragonite, one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 1, so it's a real pleasure to be able to actually feature a team with it today. I know it's been banded around on YouTube already, there are variations of the team, but this is my own take on it, playing it with the Comfy, Cortana, the Incineroar, Rotom Wash, and the Mamoswine. So we got a nice Firewater grass core in there with the rotom wash the incineral cortana gives the team a little bit of stability obviously what we want to be doing is getting the most out of the dragonite we've got the multi-scaler on there and we're going to be pairing it most of the time with the comfy with that draining kiss to activate the weakness policy and get that Dragonite powered up and start doing some big old damage very quickly. Mama Swine's kind of tagged on the end to give us some ground coverage, give us a little bit of a better matchup against something like Regieleki that could otherwise be a little bit tricky. We do have Trick Room on our Kung Fu, got Speed Control on the Dragonite with the Max Airstreams. Uh, so we've got lots of options and I think it's going to be a nice team to feature. Hopefully it's a good one. There. As always, the Poker Pace is down in the description below and at the end of the episode we'll be throwing up the rental team. So if you guys want to try this team out for yourselves, then you can. So so, without further ado, friends, let's jump into this one and get today's episode started. Hopefully, our first opponent doesn't take too long to find. And just a reminder, we will be streaming over on Twitch this evening at 8 p.m. UK time. So, if you are around, we're going to be trying to see how high we can get up the ladder. We're in a decent spot now, so we can start to make a little bit of a push this week and then see about next week making a real push to get into that really as close to number one spot as we can. So, that's the aim. So, come over, hang out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got Igor, or Igor, up first, playing a team of Torkoal, P2, Regieleki, Venusaur, Urshifu, and Regirock. So some heavy hitters on both sides of the spectrum in Trick Room, and then just out of Trick Room, we've got the, the Venusaur mod with the Torkoal. Uh, with that chlorophyll ability there and the sun drought on the, the Torkoal, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Regieleki, another thing that we need to watch out for. Urshifu's pretty fast, but not something to be super concerned about with Comfy Dragonite on the team. The Trick Room mod is honestly probably the most um, worrying aspect of this. But we do have Trick Room of our own with Comfy that we can kind of reverse the dimensions if we want. My opponent outside of the Venusaur hasn't got really great ways to hit Comfy. So I think what we'll do is... Should we just go Comfy, Dragonite? I feel like that's not a bad lead at all. Uh, I think we will go that. Um, it's what we want in um, in the back. We want Incineroar. Like, I like Cartana here, if I'm honest, because it helps against P2, uh, the Reggie Rock, and the Urshifu. Um, I think we're going to have to just pick these two very quickly. Otherwise, we're going to time out and then things will not be so good. So we'll go with those two to kick us off with today. See how we get on in this first one. Always going to be a tricky team to go up against this sort of like kind of trick room mode with the tall call. Reggie Rock as well. It's a nice combination. You know, we've seen in the past, in past formats where Reggie, um, sorry, Reggie, what am I talking about? I got Reggie's on the brain today, uh, where we've seen Torkoal and something like Gigalith kind of make up a nice trick room call, but then, the, you know, it does conflict because the the, the, the Gigalith has a sandstorm, the Torkoal has a drought. At least with the Reggie Rock, you've got that nice option where you can kind of bypass that and uh, start um, kind of just dishing out damage and keep the sun up, which is the kind of more preferable method. Okay, so uh, we've got a couple of options here. Um, we can go directly after the, the, the Venusaur, um, or the problem is, like, I do feel like we're in a little bit of a tricky spot where if we see the Torko come in for the Venusaur, then things could get a bit dicey, especially if we see a Sleep Powder here, but I'm going to max, and I'm going to go, ah, uh, we're going to see, we're going to see, uh, we are going to see a Trick Room, I think. More than anything. But also, I feel like you probably see the Venusaur. I'm going to go after the Venusaur. I'm going to chase it down. Hopefully, we don't see a Torkoal switch in. And then, obviously, the uh, Sleep Powder into the Dragonite. That wouldn't be ideal. Uh, the Venusaur might be sashed as well. This is an awkward lead for us. Because there's obviously Trick Room options on the P2. And there's Ice Beam threats there as well. Um, but it's likely we may see a Trick Room for my opponent. But like I said, we've got... Um, trick room on our comfy, so we do have that option there. So we'll get that multi scale coming in super handy. Uh, we do max Dragonite, 
and we'll be able to get our multi-scale back with floral healing the next turn if things are in a really dicey position okay well we're gonna see turn one ally switch <laughs> the hot topic in a minute oh come on are you kidding me kidding me okay well dragonite taking a little nap a little nap right now we'll try and get the floral healing onto oh we could switch out you know could switch out into incineroar give us a bit of room so as we could like the venusaur definitely threatens comfy with a sludge bomb or a max ooze which wouldn't be good because then if you go max ooze actually what we could potentially do is switch into cartana and attack the venusaur because if they go for max ooze they'll be thinking let's go max ooze into the comfy let's get rid of that it'll also boost the p2 in this situation so the ice beam will do a lot more to the dragonite that would make a lot of sense that place. So if we get Cortana in, we can maybe catch my opponent out here by not allowing them to max ooze a comfy slot with a Cortana. And then hopefully wake up, get the one turn wake up and just nuke the Venusaur. And that'll put us right back in this game. There's the max ooze. Okay. Dragonite wakes up. Come on, Dragonite. Yes, we love you so much. You're the best dragon. Ultimate dragon. Come on. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to see an ice beam from that P2 for sure. Oh, I love this. I love it when a, a good plan works out like that. I'm properly popping off right now, but you can you can understand why. We got the read right, and it's, it's all worked out. So that is ideal. Not over by any means, but I mean... Because that is some fat damage that we don't really want to have to be dealing with. But we're in a nice position now where we can double into the P2 the next turn. We've got Cortana out in the field. So we're in like the perfect spot to double up into P2. Get rid of it. Sacred Sword, Airstream, Dragon, Dragon Claw, whatever. Um, and, and go from there. The issue is obviously the Torkoal. But I think Dragonite will take an eruption. And I think between a Sacred Sword... <laughs> The problem is the ally switch here, really. You know, we've already seen it. That's where the problem lies. The ally switch out of everything. Um, which is very annoying. Do we play into it? Like, I tend to have this rule in my head where even if I've seen it, I don't play to it. I don't play to it. You just, I think we're not going to play to it. We're just going to go after the P2. Um, we better go in for a max quake here. I think probably an airstream is probably better. And hopefully that's enough. Okay, just to protect, not ally switch. Ideal. We need to get rid of this P2. This is the big thing. The sacred sword combination. Oof, is our max airstream going to be enough? It needs to be. It really does need to be. It is enough. Come on. There we go. Okay. This is going perfectly early on. Dragonite not letting us down. What a beast. Okay. This is beautiful. Um, that is the last turn of our max turns. So um, we do have Earthquake on Dragonite as well. Something that I really like. I like the idea of, you know. I like the idea of having Earthquake on it. I know we've seen variations on other channels that have featured Dragonite teams, but I really like Earthquake as an option on Dragonite. I think this is why one of the reasons why I pulled Rotom into the team. Um, maybe we keep Cortana for a little bit later on. We could just protect and get an Earthquake off, to be honest. We could just detect and just get this fat, juicy Earthquake off. I think that's not a bad play. Depends if we see weakness policy on the, the Regirock. But Regirock's not the thing that we're really worried about at the minute, is it? Regirock going to protect? We should get some nice damage onto this Torkoal for sure. And two Earthquakes will definitely get it. <sighs> Very close, actually. Plus two doing huge damage. We do see a... It'll be Citrus, I would imagine... Do we see an eruption? Heat wave. Okay. I still think Dragonite probably takes this, you know. Or just avoids it completely, which makes it so much easier. Okay, let's Leaf Blade and Earthquake. Because a plus two Earthquake is not going to take down Cortana. So we're pretty free just to go for that. But we see the cancellation and the team. Good game, Ego. But 
just not not strong enough for the Dragonite. Not on this one anyway. Dragonite said no. So that is where we are at. I love this team already, honestly. Like I've I've had one game with the team before. I actually went to record the episode and um partway through the uh as the game was starting, I got a delivery. So I had to leave and then come back and it was like it was a bit of a mess. But I ended up winning that game. So this is literally the second game with this build since I've thrown it together. Um, so it'd be nice to see some of the other elements of the team, I think, going into this next one if we can. But we'll see where we get to. We've got Sableye. Not something we see too often. Prankster. Uh, lots of options. Will-O-Wisp. Things like that that can be pretty annoying to deal with, let's say the least. Then Urshifu, Regieleki, Cobalion, Naganadel, and Dragapult. So double dragon here. Um... Cobbline, very fast team though. That's the thing, very fast team from my opponent, you know. There is the option if we could go, maybe. Maybe it's better if we go Trick Room. There is the issue as well around the beat up onto the Cobbline uh, with the Dragapult combination there, which we've got to, like, we've definitely got to um, recognize because uh, that is, that is very, very threatening. I think Comfy. It's just we've not got we've really not got a way to get rid of the Cobalai in turn one. Um if we do see the beat up. I mean we could lead. This is the thing, I'm kind of banking on my opponent bringing bringing the Dragapult Cobalai in. It's like not a lead I can really ignore. And I think our best lead against it would be Mama Swine Cartana. And then I'd want Incineroar. Would I want Incineroar on the back? Or do we just go comfy Dragonite? I think maybe we don't worry about Incineroar on this one. Comfy Dragonite. Try and get a Trick Room up. There's a lot of threats on this team to Comfy. And if we're going Trick Room because you've not got the Sash there, it makes it difficult. We have to be like way more aware of the threats. Naganadel, obviously, Cobalion. Um, they're big, big hitters. And definitely Pokemon you could see my opponent bringing to this game, which makes it difficult. But if we can make some headway early on in this match and kind of get the momentum from our side of the field it would it will make it a lot easier now we are seeing dragapult and sableye come up for my opponent this is where incineral would be magical because we could you know the one issue with the sableye is it's got a lot of support options we've got fake out here which it can potentially disrupt our side of the field with um it's got will-o-wisp as well which threatens both of our pokemon especially the mammal i think um can we get Comfy onto the field safely? I don't really feel like we can. But the thing is, like, Cartana's not in the greatest spot here at all. And I feel like I want to max Mamoswine and just try and get rid of the Dragapult. Um, let's go for it. Um, and let's try and get a substitute up with Cartana. Let's try. Because I think if you're my opponent, you concentrate way more down onto the Mama Swine. Like, you're not really too concerned about what Cortana is going to do here. Normally carrying things like Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, Leaf Blade. None of those are really threatening what my opponent's trying to do. And we're probably going to see maybe a Shadow Sneak here from the, the Sableye into the Dragapult. And this is the reason why I've maxed as well. Because they're going to they're gonna proc their weakness policy, you would imagine. And I don't think a non-maxed... Like ice, Icicle Shot or, yeah, Icicle Crash would be enough to get the Dragapult. Do a nice chunk, but not without the Life Orb. We're not looking at a near kill, but maxed. I think we can probably pick up the Knockout, and if not, very close. And if we can afford a Substitute here, that would be incredible. Oh no, we're going to see a trick. Okay, that is terrible. That is really bad. That is actually the worst thing that could have happened to us right now. Ah, oh, the eject button. Sableye, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, okay, well that's our max. We haven't got max. Maximum turns this this game. Uh, but we will just have to deal with what we've got. I think we need the trick room up. I think we need the trick room. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I mean, I've got to just bring in Comfy, I think. And try, try and get a trick room up. Um, and try and stall out what my opponent's trying to do. I mean, the substitute from Cortana 
gives us a little bit of a like it draws a little bit of attention from my opponent because they've got to be worried about the Cortana now sitting behind the sub. Okay, what's going on with this game? Come on, come on, Lord, don't, don't, don't play up. Okay, there we go. Trick room. Go for a leaf blade into the sableye. We now know it's got the sash, so I'm gonna need to expend a couple of turns getting rid of that thing. Let's just hope it hasn't got taunt. Um, there's a couple of things that my opponent could do here. I think Shadow Sneak into Dragapult, proper weakness policy. Um, that would be worrying. I like switch. I do not mind at all. Uh, obviously, we're not getting the damage onto the Sableye as we want, but more ally switch shenanigans we should take this yeah and we get a trick room up which is ideal and then we can double into the sable the next turn with a draining kiss um because the big thing here is is stalling out these okay well we get a crit as well i think it looks like crit yeah so that score blend's coming in pretty useful uh yeah we go for draining kiss into the sable eye, leaf blade into that slot And we'll leaf blade as well. Yeah. Like, Cortana's not in the greatest position here, you know? Doesn't like Trick Room too much. But I think in this situation, we've got to be looking at, like, an end game with, with Dragonite coming in and um, maybe dealing with some of these threats. A little bit better than what we've got. And I mean, Mama Swine can come in as well, deal with Dragapult pretty handily. So, there's a draining kiss. Should take the Sableye down to its sash. No, not even that. I thought we would do more damage, but... Never mind, we get a bit of health back. We may lose Comfy here. Um, and there's a trick. What are we going for? What are you swapping? Oh, the Mental Herb. That's not so good. What did you think we had there? The Leaf Blade will pick up the Knockout on Sableye, which is ideal. And we'll probably, like I say, probably lose Comfy here. But they may go after the Substitute here on Cortana. Now we've got a Beast Boost. Uh, we've got that plus one attack, which is nice. And there's a Max Phantasm into Comfy. Yeah, so we'll lose Comfy. This is kind of all right because we're, we've got the Trick Room up. We can get Dragonite onto the field now. And we can start really doing a lot of work. Um, and this is kind of the ideal situation. Like, it's not great to lose Comfy. But at the same time, getting our big Dragon on the field... Original dragon. I love Dragapult. I have to say, I do love Dragapult. It's probably the first dragon. Hmm. I don't know. I love a lot of the dragons. I can't say that I love one more than the other, but it's nice getting Dragapult onto the field, you know, now and being like, okay, Dragapult, you can do your thing. You can do your thing here. Is the Urshifu Sash? That will be interesting. Um, but we can get rid of the Dragapult with a dragon claw. That'll be more than enough. And we've got the Sacred Sword. We can go for into the Urshifu, which will be the dark and fighting, I would imagine. Yeah, it looks like. Is it dark fighting? I should always check this. Should always check, but I'm pretty sure it will be. I don't really, you don't really see too many of the water fighting types at the moment. And I know in the comments, we're probably going to see plenty of you guys pointing out to me that <coughs> um, you can tell by lots of different ways. And this is true. This is true. I should, uh, oh, it is Surgeon Strikes. Huh, you should have leaf bloated. But you ain't gonna be breaking a sub on Cortana with that, I don't think. Not with with three crits, do you do it? I don't know. I'd be very surprised if the sub break. Oh it does, it fades. Huh. It's interesting. Right, well the sash is broken there, so that's alright. Um yeah, we don't worry about Urshifu at all now. We can't protect with Cartana, unfortunately. Uh, and we are going to be prone to get knocked out. So maybe what, we, what we're what we better at... Hmm, Dragon Dart is going to be a bit of an issue. How many turns of Trick Room we got left? Yeah, two. We need to take this opportunity to get rid of Dragapult. Like, if I'm completely honest. Because Drag Dragonite can deal with Urshifu. It's just what's my opponent probably going to have in the back. Uh is it better to keep Cortana for later on in this match? I would probably say yes. Let's bring in Mama Swine. It, Mama Swine can go down to a close combat. Then we get 
Cartana back onto the field. And then Dragonite can deal with the ocean through the next turn. Okay, Dragonite gonna switch out. Hmm, Regilecki. Now, this makes me a little bit more worried because this is where we should have went after the Urshifu. But that does a lot of damage as a close combat. Okay. Right, well, this isn't too bad either because we still got, as long as we've got our multi scale intact for when that Dragapult comes back onto the field, we should be okay. And Cortana will be able to deal with the Regieleki. Dragonite should be able to deal with the Urshifu. Um, and this is last turn of Trick Room. So dual wing beat into Urshifu and do I sub here? Do I sub? Or do I just leaf blade? Because <sighs> you could see a double protect. That's the that's the problem. I'm just gonna leaf blade. I'm just gonna leaf blade. Because Regieleki's probably got okay. Oh come on! Are you actually joking? Can't win now. Can't win. Dual wing beat. Literally the worst move in the game. Literally the worst move in the game. I hate it so much. <sighs> There's a multi-scale Brock. There's the dimensions twisted. And I'm going to be super salty about this because... I'm forfeiting. Never forfeit. But I'm forfeiting right now. I'm so annoyed at that. That turn. Oh, come on. Come on. That is... Uh, I mean, what do you even do in that situation? You can't... When you rely on your moves, accuracy accuracy sucks. Sucks. The end of it. <laughs> okay, well, we've had some good game. We had... The first game was really good. The first game was really good. Second game would have been good if our moves hit. Um, no doubt we would have locked that up. 100%. Dual wing beats takes the ocean food down. We keep our multi-scale. We take down the Regieleki. Dragapult comes back in. Dragon Claw range. Easy. We clean up. It's, it's even if... Um, we got no trick room. We're fine in that situation. And we still got caught on at that point as well. So uh, that was literally the worst turn we could have hoped for. But saying that, the team is very good. I feel like the team functions super well. I think it's an amazing team, if I don't say so myself. And I think if you try it out, you will see for yourselves how good Dragonite actually is. So I hope if you do try it, you have a lot of fun with it. So I need to take down a team that we've had up for a little while. And there is a team, my friends. So have a lot of fun with it. I think it's a great build. Personally, I'd love to hear your opinion if you do give it a try. But I would definitely recommend giving Dragonite a try if you haven't already. And um, yeah, if you do, I hope you enjoy it, my friends. So there it is. I'm going to leave it there and go and cry about that, that dual wing beats. Uh, miss that we've just had and um, we'll get over it we'll get over it fine but reminder we are streaming tonight over on twitch 8 p.m which is wednesday if you're watching this after wednesday uh then we stream mondays wednesdays and fridays over on twitch the links are down in the description come hang out it's a lot of fun and um we'll leave it there have a great rest of your day drop a like do sub to the channel if you are new and you enjoy the sort of content for more of it and uh, i'll see you all for the next one so until then friends take care and bye bye